to our 18th tutorial in charting in the behavioral sciences. In this video, we're going to cover the process of putting together a multiple baseline plot, which is really uh, an overall figure with several subplots, but all part of one singular figure. Just as a note, most people in single case research are generally uh, most frustrated with putting together these type of figures because with, without the, the techniques and tools to stitch them together properly, they could take uh, quite a bit of work to, um, to clean up when things change. So in this tutorial, what we're going to cover is the process of taking our data, our three different types of data, which would have a baseline and treatment component and putting these together in a single figure and you'll see I clicked down here to the multiple baseline tab and there's a tab specific to this figure and in this figure we have our phase change lines we have our connector lines that we could easily extend out if things were to change and then we also have our individual kind of labels so that the reader really understands what's different across these different phases. So before we get started um, in putting this together, we really have to put together our individual line plots. Actually, we don't need a new sheet. And we can't just jump right into having our very own separate tab yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to build our individual plots first before we start stitching them together. So same as before, when you put together a line chart, we're going to go to Excel and we're going to insert our scatter plot with lines. And since we have three of them we're going to do, we're just going to end up having three. So let's copy and paste three of these in there. Oops. There we are. So in this top one, uh, it doesn't really matter the order that they're going in, but we'll have them uh, in the order that they'll be in the final plot for now. So we're going to start with this one, which has the shortest baseline. And we're going to select our data. We're going to add our baseline. We'll call it baseline. We're going to select our x values, which would be um, these session numbers on the side. We're going to select our y values which would be all of our baseline values. We'll hit OK. And we'll do the exact same thing for our treatment sessions. So we'll hit Add. We'll name our series Treatments. We'll select our X values. select our Y values. All right, and there's one. We'll do the exact same thing for our second series. We'll call another one baseline. Since it is a baseline for this one, we'll hit our X values. Select our Y values. Our second treatment. We'll pick the X values. We'll pick our Y values.
And we're going to repeat the same exact thing for our final plot. So we're going to add in this last plot another baseline. We're going to select those x values. We're going to select our y values for baseline. And we're going to add our last set of treatment um, values. So we'll put treatment in there. We'll select our x values. And then we'll select our last y values. We'll hit OK. So right now, things are looking like we have all the data in the state that we need. You'll notice that they're still here. They're still not really stitched together. But in the next video, what we're going to do is we are going to move all of these individual subplots into a single figure, a single chart object. And then we're going to style it from there. So stay tuned. Uh, to the website, uh, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys in the next one.